Good morning, Winsville Middle. Today is Tuesday, May 9th, and today's an A day. Yesterday, our attendance was at 92%. Happy birthday to Zoe Walker, Dominic Ziegler, and Elena Ziegler, as well as happy birthday to Miss Blanton. Students of the month from April, we still have some more to recognize. From 7A, we have Kenzie Bew. Kenzie is a fantastic student. She's always kind and respectful to others. She's dedicated and a hardworking lady. We can always, who can always be relied on to be a positive influence in the classroom. We appreciate you, Kenzie. Good job. From 7B, we have Brody Klein. Team 7B is happy to announce Brody Klein as our student of the month. Brody has outstanding character. He is friendly, considerate, and helpful to teachers and classmates. Brody also turns in top-notch work and is always on time. We appreciate everything Brody brings to the team. Congratulations, Brody. And from 8A, we have Annabelle Phipps. Team 8A would like to recognize Annabelle Phipps as their student of the month. Annabelle has a terrific sense of humor and sharp wit. She's responsible with her schoolwork and friendly and helpful to peers and teachers alike. She displays a sense of calm and level-headedness in all situations and can be trusted by your teachers to take on various classroom responsibilities. Nice job to all of you guys. Keep up the great work. All right, students, if you are interested in being part of the yearbook staff, current 6th and 7th graders can apply for next year. The online applications have been emailed to you, and the deadline to apply is May 19th. If you have any questions, you can see the yearbook sponsor, Mrs. McCandless, in room 135. Seventh graders, if you're interested in trying out for boys or girls basketball in eighth grade next year, there's an informational meeting in open gyms May 16th and 17th after school till 420. There's a Holt Wrestling Intramural next week, May 15th through the 19th from 2.30 to 4. Um, and then you will need to be picked up at 4 o'clock at Holt High School. Eighth graders, if you're interested in playing football at Holt next year, you, can, you need to have your parents mark their calendars for the Holt Football Summit. This informational meeting is going to be on May 18th at 6 p.m. in the Holt Auditorium, and at least one parent should plan to attend. If you have any questions, you can ask Mr. Perry in room 139. Holt Wrestling and Junior Indians Football are hosting a free sports fusion camp open to all elementary and middle school students that are in the Holt feeder pattern. It's going to be on May 23rd and 24th at 6 p.m. on the football field at Holt High School. And there's two different activities going on each night. So if you have questions, you can email Jacob Hawks in our school district. The information's in these announcements. Eighth graders, we're on day two of uh, map testing today. You have today and tomorrow, and then we're finished. Um, a couple reminders, though. We've had more issues with eighth grade behavior and eighth grade um, making good decisions during the map test than we ever did with the other grades. So I'm a little disappointed. So we need to make it better today. Um, all students have to have wired headphones. You know that. Please make sure you're on time, guys. You are taking time out of everyone else's day and your own day when you're not here and we have to make up your testing. You need to be here on time. Um, smartphones, watches, electronic devices, they have to be turned off. They can't be hidden in your pockets, put in your book bag, turned on. They have to be off. They have to be in your book bag. We're not asking for you to do a whole lot other than to put the things away. Um, we had two or three instances yesterday where kids weren't following directions, and we'll be talking to them later on today or tomorrow. But you have to have your phone turned off. You have to have your phone put in your book bag, Apple Watches, smart watches. And this is at the start of every session, not at the beginning of the day only. It needs to happen every time you come back in to test. Um, this isn't just our rule as a district, it's a state testing rule. So please do a good job. We're not asking you for much, just put it up and follow directions um, and give your best effort and have a good attitude about it. We appreciate those of you who are doing the right thing. And those of you who made that mistake, let's just make it better today. Also, just don't forget that you need to remove any papers that are in your Chromebook case. Um, it can damage your computer, but also can be considered a map violation. So just make sure you're putting those in a folder. All right, that concludes our announcements for today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in your classroom. Have a great day.